Hey guys, it's SoFlo Josh and I'm over here at the 2023 Miami International Auto Show and we have the all new 2024 Hyundai Sonata N line here to review. Now, this is the US specification, this is not the Korean specification. Hyundai actually just unveiled this vehicle back on the 30th of August. So now we have it here in person at the Miami International Auto Show. Let's go ahead and talk about the design. So at the front we have the new full-on led drl strip now people say it looks like robocop i agree looks like robocop there is nothing wrong with it looking like robocop i think hyundai did a phenomenal design compared to the preface of one where it had that catfish design i did not like that design whatsoever let's go ahead and talk more about the front end so you have large ventilation over here for cooling system as well as your intercooler over there on the side for this 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder now mind you mirror this does not have an electronically differential this is not like that at all you're gonna have a lot of wheel slip in this model because this is the end line this is not the regular the other versions so down below we have more ventilation you also have your sensor for the pedestrian detection for a mitigation system and so on and so forth flat design hyundai badge love it it's actually finished in a nice aluminum finish love the overall design this red is a staple to to the endline products i really do like the design of it and like i was mentioning drl lights you have full-on led lights these are not projection lights uh, like the Korean spec and then you have a a turn signal here in the bottom active air curtains right here on the side look very very nice and then a lower portion design as well getting to the bottom over here we have this nice resin finish design for the rims now it is a you know motion uh, designed wheel but I like the overall design and I like the way it's finished in a resin finish with aluminum uh, design you also have the end cap so it seems like all end vehicles or end line vehicles will starting to will be getting this end cap in the center just like the korean specifications which is great because i think that we need that instead of having the hyundai logo full-on led turn signal here it is no longer here which i like end line badge nicely planted on the side i do like the overall design of this facelifted sonata lower portion gets a nice satin style matte matte finish at the bottom um i do like the fact that since it is the end line we're gonna have this nice silver or gray finish at the bottom instead of having that red accent that goes from the bottom of the front all the way to the back getting to the back we have a new rear end design you have full-on led turn signals reverse lamps everything is full-on led the back even has a little lip spoiler here that's planted and i believe that comes with every single trim level it is not only just the end line you still have those vortex style finishes on the back so it looks really really good and you get the quad exhaust tips which i'm sure sound phenomenal especially when you're going on gas rear diffuser finish at the back as well and then getting into the trunk area you press that button and it is power operated which is great you know i really do like that nice deep loading floor area you also kind of i mean you have everything exposed there but the overall aesthetics is very very nice i mean you have a lot of ability to load as much things you have you know my backpack is just a you know just a little size but you could still load a lot more probably like i want to say maybe let's say six pigs in there you know get it ready for the cajachina you know we're about to get to december soon so imagine um if you if you're cuban or you're hispanic you know you know door handles are finished in a two-tone design so black on the top red to match the actual paint color and let me tell you this paint color looks phenomenal it is actually finished in the exact same paint color as that um kona and door handles feel great door is very nice heavy design soft padding all across you got your bose speaker system nicely designed gray finished uh gloss finish as well it's not the black uh, glossy finish which is great because i like that design better getting into the interior sounds very solid i mean the windows open but sounds very solid new steering wheel the little three dots right here that means the h uh for hyundai of course n line the uh 
steering wheel so it feels nice you have kind of like a rounded edge to the steering wheel here but it's a little bit flat as you get to the bottom which is really nice nine and three feels really nice paddle shifters though they are plastic they're i mean i'm i'm not expecting them to be metal very nice display this is the new 12.6 inch display which houses hyundai's new uh software system and you get a full digital gauge cluster right there in the middle nice little switch gears down here and it also changes depending on the the button you press to go climate uh, and so on and so forth drive modes are down here um i can't access them because this is just a stationary car it has to be on nice deep cubby area for the sonata and you have an area for your phone as you can see boom right there or you can put your phone right there and it's going to be wireless charging the good thing is now they incorporated grooves here on the side so that means that whenever you are charging your or you're driving around and you're charging your phone it's not going to be swiveling around usb type c for either uh charging and media or just charging and you also have another usb type c for your passenger if they want to go ahead and use that but overall it's really nice sadly this is hard touch plastic i kind of wish that this this was padding you have your column shifter over here feels nice and chunky as it should be uh, emergency brake right here and you can open up your trunk right here you also have a panoramic sunroof that opens all the way uh, looks very very nice actually it opens halfway but this the sun the sunshade opens up halfway getting out to the exterior again we're gonna get to the back seat i have to say really really nice and i like the two-tone effect with the glass since it is a glass you have that nice black finish to it and just like i was mentioning the front door handle also has the gloss black and then the color as well getting into the back seat oh soft padding over here as well see i kind of actually like the hyundai sonata a lot more than the all new accord this actually looks sporty and it gives you that 2.0 that 2.5 turbo engine underneath the hood you also have two usb type c's unfortunately no rear vents i think that's actually something that comes standard on the hybrid one and then back here you also have cup holders which is great um but the overall design is really nice i have a lot of head space over here even though i have a panoramic sunroof there is like a little cutout area here and you can you know feel very comfortable and i think that more than likely a person six about six three will be you know touching already the the roof but that's pretty much it i mean the overall design feels really really nice i love the new cockpit uh, display with that's incorporated together instead of it being separated it looks really nice and of course the alcantara from the front actually carries over to the rear so really nice soft padding all around and i mean all around even the headrest is nice soft padding and you get that rear quarter window right there on the c pillar getting out to the exterior again let's just go ahead and do it another little walk around so yeah 2.5 liter turbocharged engine making the same amount of 290 horsepower to the front wheels i kind of wish it was making 300 horsepower but i feel that hyundai actually might be making a hyundai sonata n which you guys can go ahead and look on my buddy's uh page called the korean car blog they got some spy photos of what could possibly be sonata n which would be great i'm assuming that would use a version of this engine with maybe an electronically controlled differential but overall very nicely designed love the new facelift i'm so so happy the hyundai did not give up on the sedan uh base at all and they actually completely redesigned well it, it's a facelift but it feels like more of a redesign than it does a facelift but i'm gonna go ahead and end it there guys thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe onto my video and i'll keep you guys posted on more videos that are gonna be coming out i hope you guys have a wonderful day Bye bye